everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle from East Bay Stamp Chick and today's video is for the Trick or Treat Treasure Team collab and this collaboration we have a video every week for four weeks and we are showcasing Halloween projects. So if you've been following along you already saw uh, cards and then you saw um, folio or albums. This week is journals or junk journals and then next week which is the last week will be um, items that you can use for treats. So it might be a 3D item, it could be bags, it could be bag toppers, tag, um, not really tags, we did tags with the cards but things that you would utilize when giving out treats. So that'll be next week. This week though is journals or junk journals and I made a journal and if you've been following along you know that I'm using two different collections for my projects and this week I used the Happy Halloween collection from Fancy Pants Designs. This was a 12 sheet collection of uh, 12 by 12 double sided paper and it also came with puffy stickers which I haven't used. I'm not a big sticker person. Um, the ephemera pack which I've used some, the enamel dots and you can see I've used some of those and then the cards and tags and I did use some of those. I'm not real good at using up ephemera and that kind of stuff. Um, I like it but I don't always use it but that's okay. So this was the cover sheet and then this is all I have left of the collection which for me is super good that this is all I have. Now this is still you know actually kind of a lot. There's um, things I could still make with these so I have some ideas of some things but there's not a lot of big pieces so definitely I could do some cards or little tiny things but um, you know this is my biggest piece right here. So um, this is it. So I'm really excited at how much I've used. <laughs> That's really good. So what I've made, this is my journal and I really love this. Like every project I've made, I've, I've really enjoyed them and I've liked how they turned out for this collab hop, but this one might be my favorite and I know I'm going to make more of these and I'll probably do some Christmas for sure because I just, I really like it. So um, this is Traveler's Notebook size. This is eight by four. Um, so, and you can see here's the spine. Okay, we got that fun thread going on the side and then there's the back. And I did do this in craft paper and the base is Michael's Crafts craft paper and it is not chipboard but it kind of looks like I did used chipboard in here for the covers. This actually, I took a 110 pound piece of paper and covered it in a 65 pound paper to um, create this. So it is, can you hear that, how thick it is? It's And then once you layer on your pattern paper, it is super sturdy, which I love. So this ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. And let's open this up. So this has three signatures. And the, in the front, I did do with um, part of the tags, uh, I did a little belly band there, so you could write on there. And then I added a um, library pocket. So I have these library pockets, and they uh, come with the library card, which I just, you know, decorated a little bit with some of the ephemera pieces and added pattern paper to it. And I got those off of Amazon. And then these were in one of the little packs. So those two little like journaling cards. So put those in there. And then there's three signatures. So there is nothing except for 65 pound paper. There's about almost three layers of that on the spine. So the spine is actually really sturdy, but there is no um, additional support in the spine. So that allows it to be a little bit more flexible, you can see. And then here's where I added the additional uh, paper instead of chipboard. So I did three signatures and in each signature is just printer paper. And there's five sheets, which means that there's, when you do front and back, there's 20 sides to write on. And there's a little tag in the center. Okay, and then here's another signature. 
and another little tag in the center. So total there is 60 sheets front and back to write on in this booklet. And then another little tag in the center. Now because I use this twine to uh, actually bind the signatures and to put it into the booklet, you could untie this and put new ones in once you finish those, but you know, my idea is that they're kind of just permanent. You'd use it like this and then that would be it. But it's it's up to, you know, however you wanted to do this. I did not add in um, grommets or um, eyelets on here, but I did use my crocodile to um, put the holes, you know, because it had to punch through so much paper and glue. Um, so even though this doesn't have chipboard in it, it is really sturdy. So I don't think the holes will really tear much. Uh, they're pretty, they're pretty good in there. Okay. And then there's the last page. So I didn't decorate it too much. I mean, I did add a little card on the front, added some enamel dots in the corners, trying to kind of make it look like the grommets on a book. But um, I just like how it turned out. Like, I don't know. There was just something about this one. I just like it, guys. <laughs> so, I don't know. You have to let me know what you think. But it's, I, what I like, I guess, is it's very sturdy without having to use chipboard. Or it's not even like a hard booklet to make. It's super easy. So it might be something I do a tutorial on. And it's actually super useful. Because you could totally write on these pages you know, with whatever you wanted to, to do, you know, so definitely could journal in there. could be a, um, you know, day by day for your Halloween month, or, you know, you could put photos, you could add paint in there. You could do whatever you wanted really. So anyways, so that's my project. This is all I have left. Very excited. And then the other paper collection that I am using is this one right here. Let me just show you the cover sheet again. So if you've been watching the videos, you've seen this. Um, this is Spooky Vibes from Miss Kate Cuttables. This is um, the other one that I've been using, and this is what I will use for my last project for next week because there isn't enough of this one. I mean, there is. I could do something with that, but I really, for what I have in mind, I'm going to need more paper. So I will be using this one. And I still have a lot of this left. Um, still have the sticker sheet. Still have some ephemera. This is a huge kit too because this one came with 20 sheets of paper. So even though I've already made a lot of things, these are cut up. I still have like five sheets I think that are have not been cut into at all. Okay, and then all these scraps. So I'm not gonna get this one used up for the collaboration, but I'm really happy with the dent that I've made in it. And um, I don't know if I will continue with Halloween at this point. Uh, once we do next week's video, that might be my last Halloween project because I already had made a few before this. And I usually don't make this much Halloween. So I'm, I'm kind of feeling done and, and anxious to get more Christmas going. I really love Christmas. I will craft Christmas all year round sometimes. So um, so probably next week's project will be my last Halloween project and then I will start with Christmas. So anyways, um, and then I know I have a couple other tutorials in the works, so those will be coming out soon. Um, hopefully, uh, at least one of them next week. So that's it for today. Uh, remember that there is a list in the description box of everybody who's doing the collab. I think it's like 10 people. So you can go to each person's channel and check out their projects. And there's also a link for a playlist if you wanna see all the videos for the collab. Maybe there's some that you missed or you wanna go back and watch again. That's an easy way to do it. So definitely check out the description box. And if you like getting crafty inspiration and you enjoyed what I make, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you can, okay? So I will see you uh, next time with more crafty inspiration coming your way. All right, thanks a lot for spending time with me today. Bye-bye.